Welcome everyone to this talk highlighting research on how organizations can leverage collaborative technologies for knowledge management. I'm Clark Shaw Nelson and thanks for joining me. In this internet connected information age, knowledge or intellectual capital is a strategic and even the most valuable asset for most organizations. So when organizations lose their knowledge, it is a huge management problem to the tune of $31.5 billion a year in Fortune 500 companies alone. So why aren't organizations retaining their knowledge? Well, according to population projections from Pew Research Center, every day between 2011 and 2030, roughly 10,000 baby boomers will turn 65 and head into retirement. And with so many boomers in leadership positions and holding the keys to institutional knowledge, there's a great risk of knowledge loss when they retire. So we see factors influencing knowledge loss from generational changes to outdated work methods, such as over-reliance on email and unshared files on personal computers, leading to loss of productivity, creativity, and innovation. Yet to counter that, shown on the right here, studies have found that knowledge sharing as a way to prevent knowledge loss and that collaborative technologies can foster knowledge sharing. Which leads us to the aim of this study, to inform both scholars and practitioners of the ways collaborative technologies can best be implemented and the organizational benefits that can be realized through utilization of knowledge management systems. To that end, the following research question emerged. How do organizations leverage collaborative technologies for knowledge management? What are those mechanisms? Since its origins using a database to store knowledge in the early 80s, knowledge management has evolved over the past several decades to include Nonica's organizational knowledge creation theory in the 90s to more discussion of knowledge sharing networks and management systems at the turn of the millennium. Leibowitz's 2008 book on knowledge retention and Lavalle and Chan's treatment of the dimensions of knowledge that factor into the retention or loss of knowledge helps solidify the connection between knowledge management and knowledge retention or preventing knowledge loss. Meanwhile, Schneckenberg, Sertione, Esposito, and Leonardi have all posited evidence that collaborative and social technologies play a positive role in fostering knowledge sharing and impacting knowledge management initiatives. Nonaka and others have posited the seminal theory on how organizational knowledge is created which has permeated the literature over time. It holds that knowledge is created through continuous dialogue between tacit knowledge, which is often in people's minds but not formalized, and explicit knowledge, uh, which is more formally documented. Organizational knowledge is created through four patterns of interactions, socialization, combination, internalization, and externalization. Then in 2016, Lavalle and Chan theorized that an organization's knowledge base will lead to loss if new knowledge is not consolidated or maintained, but an organization's knowledge can be retained when it is acquired, stored, and retrieved. Building on that, the literature landscape provides evidence that with proper implementation and support, collaborative technologies can play a significant role in the overall knowledge management process of capturing, storing, retrieving, sharing, reusing, and transferring knowledge, which can lead to competitive advantage and innovation for organizations. But how do collaborative technologies best do this? What are the mechanisms by which organizations leverage collaborative technologies to help them manage their knowledge? In order to answer this research question, I employed systematic review methodology of searching for the best available evidence, appraising the evidence, a qualitative thematic coding and analysis, synthesis and aggregation of the findings. The search strategy included a search string created with help from our fabulous doctoral librarian, Cynthia Thomas, as well as searching several databases for all manner of publications and consulting a subject matter expert, Dr. Jay Leibowitz, who literally wrote the book on knowledge retention. Now this prisma shows identification of over 1000 studies whose titles and abstracts were screened for relevance, leading to the review of 154 full text studies for eligibility. And after applying inclusion and exclusion criteria, the result was 46 articles included for this systematic review. The 46 articles included in this study are comprised of 39 peer reviewed journal articles, two dissertations, 
four conference proceedings, and one working paper. These articles span across many countries on all continents and include many varied organizational contexts. The majority of included articles are empirical studies or case studies with a smaller amount of theoretical papers, action research, and a general report, all ranging from the years 2010 to 2020. These are a few of the tools utilized for this study so far, with Covidence, Hypothesis, and Atlas TI playing major roles in facilitating the screening, appraisal, extraction, annotation, tagging, and coding of articles. You can join my Dissertation 2020 group in Hypothesis to see all article annotations and tags by visiting the URL in the middle of this slide. Now the findings. Based on analytic thematic coding of the 46 articles, they include the key categories of affordances and culture. Now affordances include the searchability function, which is facilitated with semantic web technologies, taxonomies, and artificial intelligence, or AI, finding useful information and being able to locate experts, as well as access to knowledge, especially across organizational boundaries, where that knowledge might not have been accessed if it were not stored in collaborative technologies. Within the culture category, managers were found to be important for establishing positive habits around knowledge management and using soft skills to encourage participation. Transparency was found to be a vital aspect of leveraging collaborative technologies as organizations implement wikis, enterprise instant messaging, and blockchain applications to help not only capture knowledge, but to do so in ways that make the knowledge transparent and accessible. Finally, it was found that organizations find success implementing collaborative technologies for knowledge management by promoting continuance of use through incentives or rewards gamification, and helping workers avoid notification overload. Together, these two main themes of affordances and culture were found to help organizations leverage collaborative technologies for their knowledge management systems. So managers looking to leverage collaborative technologies for knowledge management will want to foster and incentivize a knowledge sharing culture and transparency from top to bottom and emphasize continual use through their company culture. Next, managers will want to seek evolved collaborative technologies that are open, accessible, searchable, transparent, and increasingly connected with artificial intelligence to help sort, tag, and recommend knowledge as workers add, edit, and search for the articles. And finally, as organizations grow and mature in knowledge management, the inclusion of knowledge management leadership, such as a chief knowledge officer, and knowledge specialists will facilitate advanced organization, tagging, metadata, and continuous improvement of the knowledge base and help solidify the organization's knowledge management initiative. This systematic review is conducted by a single reviewer, so there was not an opportunity to measure internal validity in terms of the study selection, inclusion and exclusion criteria, and coding of included articles. Although the articles included are from all continents and many countries, as well as many varied organizational contexts, there is still a limitation in terms of the overall generalizability. And finally, there is less data included on the latest technologies than, say, technologies like wikis or instant messaging that have been around for much longer. And there are some realms of knowledge management to further explore, such as a larger focus on social media, artificial intelligence, big data, and virtual reality. There's certainly room for more experimental randomized control studies and of various collaborative technologies for knowledge management, as well as studying a massively virtual distributed teleworkforce. What would a worldwide pandemic reveal to organizations about their knowledge management processes or subsequent loss or retention of knowledge? And with that, I thank you for your attention. I welcome your questions and feedback. And I encourage you to visit the URL at the bottom of the screen or the QR code to view the slides or go to any of the links mentioned, as well as see the references. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy your day.